Hey, y'all. Okay. Um, I do want you to notice that we are jumping to review packet number three. Um, we're skipping two. It's like some logic and all these graphic organizers. We talked about that, but we're not going to do the review. Okay, so we are going to start today with the angles of triangles. Remember that the sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. Got that. This is saying that AC and BC are congruent. So what type of triangle is that? I hear you saying isosceles, which is correct. An isosceles triangle has the base angles that are the same. So that means you'll just set those equal to each other and ta-da. For this, if you remember, this is an exterior angle. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. Okay, so that, oh, you can't see that. So that's going to be equal to the remote interior angle. So you would just have to add these two things together and then set them equal to that. All right. Next topic is about the relationship between the sides and the angles of the triangles. Okay, I pulled this up for you guys. I just did a Google search, okay, because you guys are using Google to help you write. Um, so if we look at this and we're talking about this, it says states that the sum of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the third side. So when we were in class, I told you guys to always pick the smaller sides, add those together. It has to be greater than the third side. So that's not true, which means that this is not going to be a triangle. So let's look at your examples. Okay, if we look at number four, eight, eight, and 16, the smallest two sides are eight, and 8. Well, it's 17, but I answered the question. The smaller two sides are 8 and 8. That equals 16. That's not greater than 17, which means that is not going to be a triangle. You'll do that for the other ones. Number 5 over here I'm going to help you with. It says two sides of the triangle are 7 and 19 feet. Write an inequality to represent the range of lengths of the third side. Now, this could be the shortest sides, so there could be another side that's larger than 19, and this 19 could be the largest side, meaning that there's another one that's going to be less than that. So to, the way we're going to do that is we're going to add them together first, saying the sum is 26, and remember the rule says that the sum of any two angles has to be greater than the third side. So that would mean that X is going to need to be less than 26. So X would have to be less than 26. It could be 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, or it even could be 19. Okay, and that would be fine. Now, it also could be that 19 is the largest side. So I'm going to subtract out that 7. 19 minus 7 gives me 12. Well, that would be the minimum number of the other side. So x is going to have to be greater than 12. So it's like this is your minimum value and this is your maximum value. That range is what it could be. So it could be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Any of those would be fine if we were dealing with like a whole number or the decimals or whatever. Okay, so that would be your range. You're going to be using that same idea over here for um, number six. So you're doing that kind of again. On number seven, it says that you are given three meters for one side, eight meters for the other side. They want to deal with the perimeter. So you're going to have to repeat what I just did. Three plus eight equals 11, right? And 8 minus 3 equals 5. Okay, so 5 is going to be your lowest value and the highest value would be 11. Now, this is for your third side. Your perimeter is going to add all of your sides together. So, we already know we've got 3 and 8. 
3 plus 8 is 11. So I'm just going to add that 11, and then this would represent your perimeter. So 16 is going to be the minimum perimeter. The maximum perimeter is going to be 22, and that is your answer. Same thing up here, guys. This is your answer. All right. Now, on 8 and 9, this is dealing with the measurements and the lengths and then talking about the angles. So when you're dealing with a triangle, the shortest side, okay, is going to be across from the smallest angle. And you know the angle is going to be across from this by whichever letter is not included. So this is my smallest side. The letter that's not included is D. So angle D is going to be my smallest angle, okay? So then you have to look at 18 and 19. 18 is going to be the next smallest or the, the second in line. So the letter that's not there is F. Then the greatest measurement is 19. So the greatest angle is going to be E. Okay, this one over here, number nine, you need to find the other angle by using your 180. You know the whole thing has to equal 180, so you'll figure out what that is. And then remember, across from the smallest is going to be your shortest side and list out your sides. Okay, where's the rest of my papers? All right, the next topic that we're talking about is congruent triangles, okay? Congruent triangles. Y'all like my manicure my child gave me? Okay, this hand's not done at all. Just this one, but whatever. Okay, congruent triangles. Remember that these congruency statements are going to tell you who belongs with who. So P is with W. Q is with X. R is with Y. So those kind of tell you who goes together to help you match those up. Same thing with 11. It's in the same thing. Now, number four. Topic number four is about proving that triangles are congruent. And yes, you do need to go over this. Um, Y'all hold on one second. Give me a second. Well, someone is awake. And wants to say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Can you say hello? What you been eating on? Have you been biting your bed? Y'all. <laughs> There's like paint in her mouth. Were you eating on your bed? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to try to finish this video, but they're awake now, so I may have to pause it and finish it tonight. Um, I'm going to set her down, and let's see if she does not scream. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Coming, but I think she'll probably go. Hopefully she won't just stand there and scream. Okay, y'all, let me finish this up. Let me see if I can show, show y'all her. Aubrey, go play. Go play. situation under control. Okay, well, now all three of them are awake. This is why I always do this at night, but I'm almost done, so I want to go ahead and try to finish with you guys. Okay, so there are five methods that we can use to prove a triangle's congruency. Side, side, side. Okay. Side, angle, side with the included angle, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and hypotenuse leg. Now, 
we got a graphic organizer that talked about each one of these. If y'all need me to post that again, I can do that talking about each one and giving you some examples. Um, the first couple, you just have to do, look at them and see if you have enough information to determine whether or not they are congruent. And if so, what makes them congruent? Um, but then you have to do some proof. So what are some reasons why sides are congruent? Okay, well, sides are congruent if it's given. Y'all, it's like Grand Central Station. Okay, so this has been an interesting video. I apologize. Okay, the list of the reasons why sides are congruent, it's either given, okay, you're just going to know that, or the definition of midpoint. So if it tells you it's the midpoint, then you would know that those sides are congruent. And then also the reflexive property. And those are the only ones that you're going to need for reasons why the sides are congruent. Now, reasons why the angles are congruent. Okay, good. again, it could be given information. It could be that they are vertical angles. Remember that vertical angles are the ones that touch noses. Okay, those are vertical angles. If they're corresponding, if you see that the um, sides are parallel, then that's a good indication that you are going to have some type of corresponding Mom, angles. Or you could have angle bisector. When mama gets done with her video. Okay. Angle bisector. Okay. If an angle has been bisected in half, then you know that it's been divided into two equal parts so that they are congruent. And then the alternate interior angles. And again, that one is going to be indicated with having those parallel lines. So like if you look at this first one, they tell you that these out angles are going to be congruent. Okay, so you know that, but you also know these are vertical angles. So you know that those angles are going to be congruent. So we have an angle, the included side, and an angle. Angle, included side, angle. Is that one of our five reasons? It sure is. So are these congruent? Yes. And so that is your answer. No ma'am. Okay. And then it also wants you to state the congruency statement. Well, when you state a congruency statement, that's just when you're going to state the congruent part. So I'm going to say A, B, C is congruent to A is like E and then D and then C. So that would be my congruency statement. Okay. And so that is what you are doing for each of those. Because C is going to be with C, D and B are alike, and then E and A are alike. So you're wanting to match those with each other. Okay? Um, let's see what's left. I think the rest of it, yeah, the rest of it goes right along with that. And then these are proofs. Again, I've listed out the only reasons that you can use. So that should be a little bit easier. And then for this very last one, number 22, you need to plot A, B, and C. And then you need to plot D, E. Um, if you have the coordinates for D, E, what must be the coordinate for F? So you've got to find that coordinate F. Use the grid to help you find that. You can also um, use the distance formula because it, it says explain why the triangles are congruent and prove your answer using um, coordinate methods. If you're going to prove that, then you need to know the distance in between each of those. So you would have to find the distance between A, B and compare that to D, E. Okay, I'm sorry that today has been kind of crazy, but remember that if you need more help with um, finding, no Lily Jo, if you need more help with finding the, um, okay, you can write on that.
if you need more help with finding like the angle side angle 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 side that kind of stuff i can send you guys no i can send you guys the um okay just a second i can send you guys the organizer i'll probably do that anyways and send that out to you guys um and then y'all there's so much stuff online so you could always get online and get a ton of information that way or send me questions. Alrighty. See ya.